add Excel Corpure, matrices 5, matrices and simultaneous equations, solving two simultaneous equ linear equations. Solving simultaneous equations using matrices. We can solve simultaneous equations using matrices. Although you can't divide by a matrix, pre-multiplying both sides by the inverse matrix will have the same effect. So if we are looking at M matrix M times XY equals a point X1, Y1, if we pre-multiply both sides by the inverse of M, we create the identity matrix on one side and therefore XY on one side. So by pre-multiplying both sides by the inverse of M, we can get XY equals the inverse of M times the point X1, Y1. So here, the two simultaneous equations have been rewritten into a single matrix equation. So the coefficients 3, 2, 5, minus 4 have become the matrix M, and by multiplying that by XY, it must equal 5, 3. So if we pre-multiply both sides by the inverse of M, we should be able to find XY. So in this example, M is 3, 2, 5, minus 4. So they're the coefficients of X and Y. The inverse of M, we can quickly find, is minus 1 over 22. So if we swap the leading diagonal elements and change the sign of the non-leading diagonal, we can find the inverse of M. So now we're going to pre-multiply both sides by the inverse of M. So minus 1 over 22 minus 4 minus 2 minus 5, 3. times 3, 2, 5, minus 4, times x, y, and we've got to pre-multiply on the other side, minus 1 over 22, times minus 4, minus 2, minus 5, 3, times 5, 3. Now, you wouldn't always have to write this. It's fairly intuitive and accepted that that is going to be the identity matrix there, and therefore we're left with x, y on this side and if we do the multiplication on the right hand side don't forget to times by the minus 1 over 22 we get x y equals minus 1 over 22 times minus 26 minus 16 and therefore x must be 26 over 22, which can obviously be cancelled down, and y would be 16 over 22, which can also be cancelled down. So in this example, we're trying to solve 3x minus 5y equals 4, 2x plus 4y equals 7. So if you want to pause the video and see which of the following is true. So the equations can be written as 3 minus 5, 2, 4 times x, y is 4, 7. So if I pre-multiply both sides by the inverse of m, so I'll make a note of the inverse of m up here. The inverse of this matrix that we're using is 1 over 22 times 4, 5, minus 2, 3. So if I pre-multiply both sides by the inverse of M, I will get the identity matrix times XY is the inverse of M times 4, 7, and therefore XY has the form which we can see in equation B. So B is the only one that has the correct form for the solution for X, Y.
So if you've got linear equations in two variables, this can be represented in a plane by two straight lines. And when you solve simultaneous equations in two dimensions, there are three possibilities. So if you want to pause the video and see if you can draw the different possibilities of two simultaneous equations in two dimensions. So we're going to see what these equations will look like, these simultaneous equations. So when you solve simultaneous equations in 2D, there are three possibilities. There are two lines that meet at one unique point, which you can see clearly on this diagram. So if two lines have a different gradient, they will meet at a unique point. There are two parallel lines that never meet. So that's that example. Here, the determinant of the matrix would be 0. And in an example of this would be equations such as 2x plus y equals 5 and 4x plus 2y equals 7. The third case is if there are two parallel lines that are coincident. So this would be two lines in exactly the same place. Again, the determinant would be 0. An example of this might be something like 2x plus 3y equals 1 and 4x plus 6y equals 2. You can see intrinsically the, uh, the same straight line. So in this example, we have to try and find the two values of k for which these two equations do not have a unique solution. And we need to work out how many solutions there will be in each case. So if we look at the coefficients of x and y, we get 1, k, k, 4. And if there is not a unique solution, this determinant must be 0. And if we work out the determinant, we get 4 minus k squared is nothing. k squared is 4. And k is plus or minus 2. If we look at the two cases now, when k is 2, the equations would have the form x plus 2y is 5, 2x plus 2 4y equals 3 and if you if you imagine doubling that first equation it will be inconsistent with 2x plus 4y equals 3 and therefore there will be no solutions. If we look at the case when k is minus 2 the equations become x minus 2y is 5 minus 2x plus 4y equals 3. And again, if you imagine times in that first equation by minus 2, you'll see that they are inconsistent with each other. And again, there are no solutions. So in both cases, there will be no solutions. And the lines will be parallel lines, which are not coincident. In the next session, we're going to be looking at three simultaneous equations with a unique solution.